Hello artists and welcome back to Art at Home with Mrs. Kellogg and happy spring. Yes, this is the first week of spring. So I thought it would be fun to create some spring inspired collage art. Now, some of you might be wondering, what is collage? Collage is the art of layering and gluing paper. And that is what we are going to do today. Now, meet me over at my workspace because I want to tell you more about the art lesson and the art supplies you will need. This is an example of the spring inspired collage art we are going to create today. Now let me tell you the art supplies you will need for today's project. You're going to need paper and the size is up to you. Make sure that it's thick enough to apply watercolor to. You will need a pencil with an eraser and since we are collaging, you're going to need a glue stick and scissors. And don't forget, you're going to need paper to collage with. So you can use any kind of paper for this. So you can use construction paper, magazine, old calendar pages, old wrapping paper. And what I think is a lot of fun is to paint paper ahead of time and use that for your collage. And since we're going to watercolor the background, make sure that you have your paintbrush, your watercolor set, a cup filled with water, and also some paper towels. Those are the materials you'll need for today's project. Now would be a great time to pause the video, set up your workspace, gather all your art materials, and meet me back here, and we will start collaging spring flowers. Did you get your materials? Then let's get started. Your first step is to paint your background. So I'm gonna get my paper all wet first and then I'm going to add color to it. So I just use the tip of the brush. And this is why you want your art mat underneath your art paper so you don't get paint all over your workspace. Now I'm finished painting my background paper, so I'm going to let that dry. And while my background is drying, I'm going to cut and organize all my collage paper so that I'll be ready to collage my spring flowers onto my background paper as soon as it's dry. Now I'm going to start cutting my collage paper and I'm going to start with my flower tops. So I am going to cut circles for my flower tops. So two ways to do this, you can draw on the back of the paper and cut it out that way, or you can just start cutting. I'm going to start cutting paper to make my stems. And you can use any paper or color you like. And you can always tear as well. If you wanted to tear your paper, that's fine to do too. Now my next step is I wanna start cutting some leaves. So when I think about leaves, I think about a triangle and then into an oval. Okay, so I can do a triangle and I can do all different sizes or you could just make ovals. So if I decide to draw out my leaf first and then cut, I can do it that way. Or another way is I just think of a triangle and an oval and I'm gonna cut out that shape, like so. so I can... Then once I'm done with that, sometimes I like to lay it out on another piece of paper to see what it would look like and see if I need to cut more leaves and more flower tops and, and more stems. So the number of leaves and stems and flower tops that you cut out are up to you and it will depend on the size of your paper. I'm gonna continue cutting out more shapes for my spring collage flowers. Now would be a great time for you to pause the video, cut out all your shapes for your spring flowers, and then meet me back here, and we are going to start collaging. Did you cut out all your collage pieces for your flowers? Great, then let's start collaging. And I want you to remember collaging is the art of gluing and layering paper. 
So that's what we're going to do. So the first step is you wanna make sure that your background paper is dry. So as you can see, my first step is to set up my collage pieces to create my spring flowers. You wanna lay down all your collage pieces for your spring flowers without gluing them first to see what they look like. Once you're happy with that, then you're going to start gluing. So my first step in collaging is I'm going to glue my flower tops together. So I like to make sure there's enough glue on the back and then I'm gonna press those down together and see what that looks like. I wanna make sure that you can't see the glue, so I glue it on the back and then I press that down. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to glue down my middle stem and flower and then the leaves first, and then that will make sure that I have enough room for my other two flowers. So I flip over my paper and I get the glue down on the back gonna make sure that my stems go off the page on, on my paper. So I place it down and once I'm happy with it, I press down. Once I've glued down my middle flower, I'm ready to glue down my other two flowers. Now it's your turn to finish your spring flower collage. Well, that ends our spring flower collage lesson. I hope you enjoyed the lesson and I want you to always remember when you are creating art to relax, have lots of fun and keep creating.